Hare Krishna, it's me, Bhakta Capri, Sun Man Pachu. I'm here at work, reading for smiles. And Black History Month is coming up. So what we're going to do with the children is we're going to teach them about one of the great African civilizations, which is ancient Egypt. So we're going to deal with Nile Valley, and we're going to be having them building pyramids and obelisks. They're going to be learning Metu Netur, Metu Netur or Inter. So these are the words of God, the writings of the gods, the deity language. We're going to be teaching them hieroglyphics. And what I like about the hieroglyphics and the whole Metu Netra language is it's just like Sanskrit. You can't lie with it. Like, in other words, the meaning of the name, for example, Nebethet or Neptis, the meaning of the name is there. Neb is rulership and Het is house. So Nebethet means ruler of the house. So it's just like Sanskrit in that the meaning of the, the words are there. So we're going to be dealing, I'm going to be dealing with temples, structures, pyramids, obelisks, you know, arts and crafts. We're going to be building stuff, cardboard, car cardboard, you know. And I'm also going to teach them the science of electrum. Because a lot of people don't realize but the top of these pyramids and the top of these obelisks has something called electrum, which is gold and silver, because this is highly conductive and highly magnetic. Gold amplifies and silver magnetizes, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and they both conduct energy. So when you have magnetic energy and it's amplified or put it and forms a current, then you can produce electricity. So these people knew what they were doing by mixing gold and silver on their ancient objects. So here I'm reading for smiles and we're going to be rocking out. Black History Month is going to be different. It's not just going to be Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Medgar Evers. We're not going to be dealing with slavery because we have a legacy that predates slavery by billions of years. Yes, I said billions. They found a, a black lady on a spaceship that came from either the dark side of the moon or from Saturn. NASA found this stuff. It's online. And this lady's at least one billion years old and she got braids and she looked like Nicki Minaj before the plastic surgery. So, I say that to say that this is a very interesting time when we're reaching back across the eons and touching the hands and the minds of the ancestors. What's so important is that we don't judge the ancestors by the context of our daily experience. Hello, how are you? Making a YouTube video. So it's important that we don't um, judge the ancestors by the content. I'll give you a perfect example. Krishna from 5,000 years ago, 3100 BCE, he was wearing bracelets on his ankle. Now, if a man comes out with bracelets on his ankles today, he's probably a rapper. But in today's world, men don't wear bracelets on their ankles. But it was totally masculine 5,000 years ago. Makeup. Men were wearing makeup. Eyeliner. If I put on eyeliner right now and mascara... I'd probably be a real pretty guy. I'd have to shave off my beard, of course, but I'd probably be real pretty. Probably. But it's unacceptable in today's society that is considered feminine. However, it was an adornment of beauty in ancient Egypt. So once again, we can't, when we see things on the tombs, or we'll see phallic symbols, or we'll see symbols of sex, especially like in India and stuff like that, when we see these symbols, we can't judge them from our modern standpoint. Okay? So I just wanted to share that. That Reading for Smiles is doing some real interesting things. Shout out to Miss Robinson and the entire staff at Reading for Smiles. www.readingforsmiles.org Yeah, I know. The shirt's looking rough. You could donate an iron if you want. I don't care. I'll use it. Just make sure it's black and decker and it got some steam coming out of it. Because I like quality. You know what I'm saying? So, howdy bowl. Enjoy your day. And let's study these ancient civilizations because they were all connected. Hare Krishna.